Today was just about a 10. Perfect weather conditions across the Ozarks, the way you probably expect it and like it to be during the month of October. We've still got mostly sunny skies out there. Temperatures have been a lot warmer than we've seen, topping out in the low 70s where we still are to the north. Uh, readings got very close to 70 in Springfield. The highest I've seen so far was 69. We've pulled back a little bit at 67 degrees, but this is still running about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. It was a gorgeous weekend. And these are the conditions that we need to have to get that fall foliage going. And really, if you drive around not only Springfield, but across the Ozarks, we can see we are now transitioning in terms of the fall color. We're seeing it especially in the maples and also some of the other trees out there, but especially the maples like the red maples and the sugar maples. We're seeing those beautiful fall colors and Mother Nature really playing her part. We've had the chilly nights. We've had the mild sunny days. We haven't had any big storms with a lot of wind, although Saturday was a bit breezy, and we've had our first light frost across most of the Ozarks as well, although we haven't seen our first light freeze officially here in Springfield. And it looks like we are on track to have our peak occur late October, early November, as it's supposed to. Now, conditions right now across the midsection of the country very, very quiet, save for a little bit of high cloud and sneaking in across northern Arkansas and southern Missouri. As I broaden out the view, I want to kind of pull some things together that are actually going to impact the nation as a whole later this week. We've got some unsettled weather here in the western U.S. We've also got a very powerful hurricane in the East Pacific off the uh, Mexican coastline. 155 mile per hour winds with Hurricane Willow. That storm will be making landfall. And it looks like that storm is going to team up with some of this upper level storminess in the western U.S. to generate clouds and eventually wetter weather, especially along the coastline. As it looks like we'll see a storm related to the remnants of Willa moving along the Gulf Coast. But we're also going to sample some cloud cover and shower chances here locally in the Ozarks later this week. But we've got a couple more October beauties in store for you before that happens. Here's a look at what's going on right now. We've got the mild readings, we've got a cold front located to to our north, and that front will drop south across the area very quietly during the day on Tuesday. You really won't notice the impact of that front until Wednesday when it looks like we'll finally have some cooler air working back into the area. Overnight tonight, uh, mostly clear to clear conditions, about 45 for an overnight low in Springfield with highs tomorrow. Not quite as warm as today, but still nice. Looks like mid 60s to the north, upper 60s here across southern Missouri, and right around 70 across northern Arkansas. Winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, a 9 on our colorator. Now, looking at the pattern, I mentioned the unsettled weather in the western U.S. It will move across the area on Thursday, so look for clouds and even a chance for showers to return to the forecast by then. After that storm swings east, we're going to have a nice uh, trough setting up across the eastern U.S., and we should see a series of storms rotating through that trough across the Ozarks later this week into this upcoming weekend. That's going to keep clouds and maybe even periodic chances for showers in the forecast into Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, and looking long range down the road to next week as we wrap up the month of October and look at Halloween. Uh, looks like for Halloween, we're looking at uh, a fairly quiet weather pattern, a chance for showers maybe during the day. All in all, though, a mild day followed by a cool and it looks like quiet night across the Ozark. So, this is the uh, earliest Halloween forecast I can give you, and right now it looks like it should be pretty good weather wise. Now, your seven day forecast, uh, you can see in the short term, absolutely gorgeous October. Weather mostly cloudy though on Thursday with a chance for a few showers. I think Friday's mostly dry, but there'll be a chance for showers late Friday and maybe Saturday morning. An additional isolated shower activity possible again on Sunday. You know, I was here last night. I'm just glad the two of you found your way into the back into the main it. studio. Not, there's a lot of light in here. <laughs> Things look different. You guys didn't get lost. You showed up for the news tonight. We're glad to have you here again. It's our mm -hmm. new renovated studio here, so it's it exciting. is beautiful. Yeah, how about our viewers' number? Oh, uh, number tonight is two zero three four zero two. And while the jackpot is not as big. Is that Mega Millions jackpot that's no, out there not. floating around at what, $1.6 billion now? Yes, still climbing. I think people would still take the uh, the jackpot amount, which I believe $1,300. $1,300, Jamie, thanks. All right, well, coming up, an Army veteran is taking on a daunting challenge.